similar to rinse and repeat forecast compared to yesterday. We started out bitter cold. We had some ice on the windshield, some fog out there, and then everything kind of cleared up and things looked a lot better. So that's what today's going to be. A little cooler, but not much. So if you didn't need a jacket yesterday afternoon, you probably won't need one again for today. And we're basically just going to take it and do it again tomorrow. It's a stagnant weather pattern, but things will change in a big way towards the end of the week. Look outside though on our Kentucky One Health weather by camera. We've got blue skies over Danville right now, Center College. Yeah, just an absolutely gorgeous day. Get outside and take advantage of it because it will, it will not last for long. By the end of the week, we're talking rain, a little bit of winter weather on top of that, but then cooler temperatures do go, come back into the forecast. But for right now, it is clear on the max track, not expecting anything throughout the day today, but you can tell out west things are getting going as far as active weather is concerned. First, we'll start to see high cirrus move in. We're actually getting a little bit of that right now, but eventually it's going to thicken a little bit, and then you'll start to notice those cumulus as we get into the day on Thursday. Two systems, one up in the Pacific Northwest, one that's starting to make its way into western Texas. Both of them will converge at one point and really up our chances for precipitation. But until that happens, it's high pressure for at least another day. So now storms are getting themselves together as they move into flat land and eventually crossing the Mississippi and coming together. The moisture ramps up out of the Gulf of Mexico. This cold front is going to have the cooler air behind it. And what happens is when that crosses us, cooler air works in and now we're talking about some snow. Not a lot expected as of now, but keep in mind we do still have a few days to finesse those numbers. But what you should know for sure is that getting into Friday, especially into the late evening, overnight into Saturday, we could have some winter weather to deal with. On the future track, really nothing happening until we get to Wednesday night, Thursday morning, and then there you go. Moisture is ramped up, precipitation starts, and all of Thursday will be rain. Most of Friday will be rain as well. So for the rest of the day, just expect to be mostly sunny and chilly. Tomorrow mild as those winds shift out of the south and then by Thursday those rain showers will start to move in. Your temperature trend shows that after a couple of mild days that cold front will really slice through and we're into 40 by Friday. We will recover but a slow trend as we move up into the mid 40s over the weekend which is normal for this time of the year and as we're getting into Christmas Eve, Christmas Day it actually won't feel quite like it's supposed to. We're going to keep going up in those temperatures so even Christmas Day is going to be a little mild by the afternoon. Definitely not a white Christmas this year. So if you're expecting it, just get that out of your mind for at least this year. Next year, maybe, but we'll see. At least for the next eight days, we've got rain showers moving in Thursday a little bit. Friday into Saturday, that wintry mix moving in. Just so happens it falls perfectly with the first day of winter. And then getting into the Christmas holiday, there you go. you got chilly temperatures on Christmas Eve, mild on Christmas Day with just a few showers hanging around. Do you? All right, Seth, thank you.